on today's video i want to show you how you can actually create a simple birthday flyer with just your smartphone i'm going to show you how you can create an eye-catching birthday flyer just something like this i'm going to create something like this we're just going to replicate this all right we are going to replicate this with just a smartphone all right we are going to use this application that is called uh we're going to use an application called pixel app this is the application here so if you don't have it you can just go to play store i'm not sure it's available for the iox users or iphone users all right so just go for the android users you visit play store and you can download it so this is the application we are going to use for this tutorial now if perhaps you are you don't know what pixel app is all about it is a graphic designing tool that you can use to create stunning graphics all right uh, done a little review on it so i'm going to drop the link on the description on how to use pixel app okay so the moment you let's go back to default the moment you tap on it it will show you like this new text this is your drawing page so i'm not going to explain more so just go to the link and see how you can use this application all right so i'm going to delete this now the first thing we need to do now is to change our background so we'll go to our color palette here and we choose from the several colors we have we want to change it to black right so that is the color we want to change it but first let's just use white first now so we'll change it to black letter now the first thing we need to do now is to add our shapes so you tap on shapes you tap on shapes and you give it a color let's give it a black color right tap on shapes you tap on your check mark Right, so we're just going to edit this uh, shape this element a little now the first thing we need to do now want to give it a stroke just be following me on everything i'm doing so you can replicate yours so we are going to give it a white stroke so although it will not show because of the background so let me just uh change the color of the background just for now i'll do it later okay so you can see the stroke here is white and the color is black so we're just going to adjust it a little adjust it a little all right then the next thing we need to do now let me stretch it a little all right then the next thing to do now is to do copy it we are going to duplicate it you tap on copy to duplicate it let me shift it a little bit down then you adjust it you can use your position tool here to position it or if you want to do it with your hand you can as well go ahead and do it with your hand but use your position too if you want to get an accurate position all right then you you're going to duplicate it again let me shift it a little forward all right so let me duplicate it again I want to shake it that's why i'm using through that side you tap on your copy you bring it here and you position it again all right so it's enough like this now we are going to mesh them all together we're going to mesh them all together so you tap on just be washing my hand because i'll not be explaining everything Tap on mesh. You can see where the pointer is touching. You can see everything. All right. So we have meshed them all together. So now they are all one shape. Now the next thing we want to do now, we will bring out another element, another shape. We stretch it to cover it here. All right. And we are going to give it an ashes color background. I don't know if it is ashes color. Yes, but a little something like this. All right, let's see this. No, I'm gonna use this. We use that one. Then we send it to back. Let's adjust it a little. Send it to back. All right. Now the next thing to do now, we are gonna mesh this, the first two, and we are gonna mesh the. Sorry, we are gonna mesh the first object and the last one. We just did now. So to mesh, you tap on that icon tap on the one below you tap on the two objects you want to mesh together you tap on the mesh to tap on ok all right so we have all we have meshed them all together now 
right so now the next thing we want to do now we want to erase the color let me stretch this a little so that it will fit properly i want to erase the color we want to erase the black color so you go to where it says uh erase color this is it here you tap on it you tap on the enable then you tap on this uh pen to this uh yes you tap on erase all right so you can see we have erased the color then you tap on your check mark i want to turn the background back to black all right i want to turn the background back to black so we we'll turn it back to black uh, you can see this is what we got now let's lock it so we'll not shake it when we are working on other things and the next thing we want to do now is to bring a, an image an image of a person so you tap on your plus sign here you tap on from gallery right let's uh tap my pictures my picture then let's go and select from the one I've already erased the background. So you can also go to maybe Play Store and uh, download a background erasing tool that you can use to erase the background. So you can see I've already erased this one, the background. Tap on the check mark. Then let's adjust it to fit in. So this strategy I'm showing you is very simple to use. All right. There are other strategies you can use, but this one is very simple to use. So the next thing to do now is send it to back. All right, you can see it. Then let's adjust it a little, or let's bring it out again so that I can make it a little big. Let it uh, let us make it a little bit big. Sorry. All right, now we send it to back. All right. And you can see it here. All right. So the next thing we do, we have to lock it. You have to lock it and the next thing we want to do now I want to add our text we want to add our text so you go to the the a icon here you tap on new text and let's say happy we're gonna do that first happy you tap on the check mark bring it here downward then we use let's give it a color first we're gonna give it a black color then we'll give it a font style a font style so let use this one so you can as well go to maybe to google and download any font you want right you download any font you want so let's see the one we are going to use here no we're not going to use that one uh use i've forgotten the one i used earlier all right so let's use yes that one or let's see this one now it's a particular font I used. That's not it. Forgotten that font. All right, let's use that one to save time. Let me look at the font again first, please. Sorry. Okay. Go back in. All right, so that's it. You tap on OK. All right, so we increase the size a little. Let's make it a little bit bold and increase the size a little. I don't want this video to be too long. I don't want the video to be too long. Then OK. You position then add a text again. Let's add another text now. Let's type on happy bed. Let's say birthday now. Birthday. Make it to capital letter. Tap on OK. Bring it downward here. You increase the size first. Increase the size. Then you give it a black color. All right. Then let's choose a font for it. I use my downloaded font I use this okay let's see this now let's use this tap on okay I just position it a little let me use the position tool here to position Right. 
So we're going to merge them together so that they will become one object. You tap on merge, tap on OK. Right now they're all one object. You can decide to adjust it a little. All right, so let's position it well with the arrow tool. Tap on the check mark, okay? Now let's put the person's name. Let's just use a uh, let's say Pascal. Pascal. I'm gonna use capital letter. Tap on OK. You bring it downward here. You give it a color, which is black. Black and let's give it a font. I use the downloaded font that I downloaded. Where is the font that I all right? Now let's make it a little bit bold. Okay, so that's it. So let's position it. The Pascal. How we get the Pascal? Now let's add the sorry. Let's add uh, shapes again. Tap. Sorry. Let's edit it first. So we are going to use remove the opacity. Then we give it a stroke, black stroke. All right. Let's bring it down so that we see what we are doing here. Okay. Now let's add our text back. Let's add our text. You tap on text and new text and let's say October as the date of the birthday. Bring it here. Let me use this a little. Sorry for that, please. All right, so we let's work on the text now. We increase the size a little. We give it a black color. Let's give it a font now. This is the font we're going to use. Then we're going to give it also a stroke. A stroke. Let's make the color white. All right. So that's it. let's adjust it to fit in. The watch the text is too big, so we are going to reduce the size a little. Then let's position it again. So we're gonna leave it that way. Let's push it upward a little. And let's put the, the actual date. We're gonna use 18th capital letter. Bring it downward here and let's choose a font for it. Give it this font. Which of the font am I going to use? That's not it. That's not it. There's a particular font I used when. That's not it. Sorry. Okay, let's use uh, this. Okay, we're gonna use that. Let's give it a color. Give it, give it blue. All right. So let's just make a little bit different. Increase the size. Push it upward a little. Let's see if I can. Uh, Okay, so now we're going to mesh them all together so that we can shift them upward. You mesh them up. Tap on OK here. And use your position tool to shift it upward. If you 
you don't want to stress yourself adjust it a little then position it bring it downwards so it will fit in okay so this is a better flyer you have here as simple as it is and eye-catching so let's view it on the on, on the full screen you tap on full screen so this is the uh, flyer here we are done with it you are done with it so that is all for this video this tutorial in case you gain any value from it just do me a favor hit the subscribe button and also turn on the notification bell so that you'll be notified when we drop new videos i'll see you in the subsequent videos bye for now